Shockwaves are sent through the Walt Disney Company, Pete Davidson is over SNL, Chris Evans may be starring in a new musical movie, and The Bachelor throws a wrench in the fantasy suite dates. I'm Tiffany Taylor, and right now I've got the top stories you need to know today from The Hollywood Reporter News. First, it's the end of an era at the Walt Disney Company. The company said on Tuesday that it is naming Bob Chapek as its next CEO, succeeding Bob Iger immediately. Iger is assuming the role of executive chairman and will lead the board through his contract's end on December 31st, 2021. Chapek, who has been with the company since 1993, has been chairman of Disney Parks, Experiences, and Products since 2018. His new contract began on February 24th and ends on February 28th, 2023. Iger said, with the successful launch of Disney's direct-to-consumer businesses and the integration of 21st Century Fox well underway, I believe this is the optimal time to transition to a new CEO. Meanwhile, Pete Davidson reveals he's ready to say thank you next to Saturday Night Live. Too much? The comedian opened up about why it might be time for him to leave SNL when he appeared as a guest on Monday's episode of Live Your Truth, an honest conversation with Charlemagne the God. Like, I personally think I should be done with that show because they make fun of me on it. He added that he's treated as a punchline on the series, saying, I'm like weekend update jokes. Davidson also revealed, I have a weird feeling in that building where I don't know whose team they're playing for, really. If I'm the joke, or I'm in on the joke. The comedian added that Lauren Michaels has been nothing but kind to him, but he does think he's out grown the show. Next, Captain America could be fighting a monster plant. THR's Neha Joy in New York has more about Chris Evans' next possible role. The actor is in negotiations to play a key character in Little Shop of Horrors, a new big screen take of the cult movie turned Broadway musical. The project is based on the 1960 Roger Corman movie Little Shop of Horrors and its multiple iterations that tells the story of Seymour, a florist who works at the aptly named Skid Row Florist, and is secretly in love with Audrey, who also works at the struggling shop. Seymour becomes a celebrity when he discovers a Venus flytrap-looking plant he dubs Audrey II, but his life becomes disastrously complicated when the plant demands to be fed human blood and eventually people themselves. In last night's episode of The Bachelor saw pilot Peter head into the fantasy suite, but this time there was a twist. Producers decided to switch things up in the most awkward way possible. For the first time on either The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, have all three finalists live together while they took turns going on their over night dates in Australia. This move stunned fans of the franchise as the women are usually sequestered from the rest of the finalists and are unaware of how the other relationships are playing out at this point. But during the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast, host Chris Harrison revealed that the producers had to step in to create a quote, uncomfortable zone because one of Peter's finalists, Madison, wasn't being completely honest with him. Mm -hmm. And so this was to force a situation that had to happen and it had to happen this week because if we get to proposal week, then this guy is really screwed and there's no chance this works. Peter has been criticized over his indecisiveness throughout his Bachelor season, but Madison had not fully opened up to the star about her faith and her relationship expectations until the overnight dates. Though viewers had been clued in that Madison was saving herself for marriage, she waited until Monday's episode to tell that to Peter. She also told him that if he had been intimate with any of the other women, she wouldn't be able to continue in their relationship. You wouldn't be able to keep this going with me if I spent the night with anyone else. For me, like actions speak louder than words. After Peter told her he had already been intimate with at least one of the other two women, the episode ended with Madison walking away, possibly for good, leaving him in tears. When speaking on the podcast, Harrison said that the producers didn't want Peter to find that information out next week while getting ready to propose. So they forced Madison's hand by having the other women confront her. She gave him the ultimatum. And I'm sorry, that's disgusting. For much more on all these stories and the latest Hollywood news, head to THR.com and be sure to subscribe to our THR News YouTube channel. Until next time, for the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.